Dr. Rachel and Bella Crafts. Rachel here. I hope you're all well. So what do all of these things on my desk have in common? Well, what we're going to be working with today is some texture paste. And I thought it would be really interesting to see if we could combine it with some other different medias that we work with um, and just see what the outcome is because I thought if we don't try we're never going to know are we so I'm going to quickly run through with you the types of things that I've grabbed and then we're just going to get in and just have a go it may be a complete disaster it may look amazing who knows but if we don't try we won't find out will we so let's get to it so I've already got some texture paste made up here in my pot um, I have a video where I've shown you how I've made this. I will link the link down below. Um, if you don't know how to do it, it's really, really easy. Um, you just need some talcum powder, some acrylic paint and some PVA glue. Um, and that really is all there is to it. So we've got that there. That's going to be the basis of what we are going to be using today. Um, and I've also got some texture paste made up ready as well in this lovely mustard yellow colour. Um, what else do I have? Well, I have some um, embossing glitter here, which I thought we would give a go as well. So I will show you in a moment how I'm going to try and use that. Like I say, it may be a disaster. I don't know. I have also got some rather botanical looking um, washi tapes, which we are also going to utilise. Probably going along with the colours of the kit that I'm using at the moment, it'll be these types of colours that I'll be working with. These are lovely. So we'll take those out. Oh, and perhaps we'll have that one there too, because that's a really lovely um, botanical kind of pattern on there. I would have peeled it off and shown you, but I can't find the end. So we'll come to that in a minute. So let me move those out of the way. I have also got some snippety, snippety bits here, because um, I really wanted to try and work with some um, lace snippets. Um, I've got a few bits, more bits here as well. I'm just trying to grab the rest of my straggly ends here, but they, as per usual, all caught up with each other. So we've got some different types of uh, lace and kind of fabric and swatch things here as well. So let's pop those up by the for a minute. Um, oh, that's just a scrap that we're going to practice on that. These bits under here are actually pages out of the uh, botanical journal that I'm working on. So this is what we will be putting these things onto very carefully and just hope that they work but that's our practice one <laughs> and then here i'm just going to pan out just a little bit because i do apologize i'm a bit too close oh i'm gonna have to come up here we go right so what i've got here i don't know if you remember all the way back to the first video of the how to botanical series where i made the cover and um, i had um used the cricket and i had made some um oh what's the word i'm looking for Botanical um, fussy cuts. Is that the word I'm looking for? Yeah, it is, isn't it? So, uh, die, I, you know, using kind of die cuts, I, I fussy cut and I had these lovely uh, paper uh, flowers. But um, obviously, in doing so, actually, I did these with die cuts, I did these with a the cricket, it then left me with some lovely ready made stencils. So, this is what I'm going to use today for my texture paste. Um, I'm going to use these stencils. Um, I already did it with the larger one here when I did the, um, there were some greaseproof, coffee dead greaseproof papers in the journal. And I don't know if you remember me showing you, but I'd used some texture paste previously and I'd um, actually painted on them to colour them in. Um, so yeah, I've used this. This worked really well, as you can see. And it's, it's great to, you know, we feel like we're using our leftover bits then, aren't we? Um, so I'm going to try with some of these lovely botanical, um, you know, marks that have kind of been left in these um, scraps. And we'll see how we get on from there. So I think I might start with the smaller ones. Um, and we'll... We'll just see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Um, it's either going to work or it's not. I'm just going to bring you guys back down a bit because I want you to be able to see what I'm doing. So what I was thinking was, for a start then, maybe we could um, take some washi tape because obviously um, when you're mixing up your, your uh, texture paste, you tend to um, mix it up, obviously. And then you, you know, when you put the paint in, will dictate the colour at that point. So what I've taken to doing, the first time I did it, I did make a huge dump load of yellow, which I'm slowly, slowly working my way through. 
um, slowly be in the operative word. Um, but I don't tend to use yellow all that much, um, or I haven't so far. So that's kind of been underutilized. So what I've done since then is any other time I've made it, I've made it in white because obviously it's a lot easier then to mix something in with the white to just change the color slightly. So um, yeah, that would just be, that's kind of my top tip for this video. If you're gonna make texture paste, make it in white. And at least then when you take a bit out, you can always pop it onto um, you know, um, a mixing thing and then just add a different color to it. It was, um, my mother always say it's easier to add than it is to take it away. So, you know, we can always add a colour to it, can't we? Right, so what I'm just thinking with the washi tapes is if we just put a little bit of washi tape on the background. So if we didn't want to change the colour, what we could do then is basically put a bit of colour behind it. So I'm just like really, I'm not fuss, fuss, fuss in here. I'm just really scruffily, because it is botanical. Not scruffy, that's the wrong word, but you know what I mean. Just not over fussing. And I'm going to just lay then this over the top. I'm going to try my best to get it straight. So I'm just moving these out of the way a second, guys. You go over there. And as we have some wonderful washi to hand, I think it would be a good idea. Um, oh, see, now this is the point where you should always have a not so usable washi, or rather a washi that you don't use very often to hand. So you can use it to secure down um, what you're working with. And typically now, everything I'm laying my hands on, I wouldn't really want to waste. Um, oh, that'll do. Crikey, I've got loads of this one. Right, let's have a little bit of this. And I just want to secure it in place because obviously when you're working with um, texture paste, things can get a little bit messy. So let's screw it up with my, my lines under there. There we go. Right, and then a little bit more then just to secure this into place. So I kind of want that so that it's fairly central to that bit of washi I just put on. Um, there we go, that should be um, enough there. And if you're really careful, you can reuse your bits of washi every time you do a new um, pattern. Okay, so I thought we'd just start off nice and simple um, and we'll just put um, a standard um, bit of texture paste on there. Um, I, do you know what? I've got loads of these. Do you think I can find them this morning? I have hunted high in though. So this is any trouble you see when you turn out your craft room. Yeah, you've got to have a really good memory then, which sadly I don't. To remember where you stash everything. Where you stashed your stash. Now, I've never done it with something this small, so this is going to be a real trial and error. And I just think perhaps best not to pile it on too thick to start with. But I can't put it on too thick because my um, stencil is not that thick. So this is going to be a, a slight smearing. Okay, one. can't smell very well I can really smell the baby powder coming out there right so let's peel this off very carefully and hopefully oh my goodness that looks amazing I love it I love it I love it look at that can you see <gasps> fantastic brilliant love it right where's my little um just give it a little blast now a little tip I don't know whether it's the talcum powder I don't know whether it's the um the, the glue no not the glue yeah it could be the glue actually probably is the glue in fact because that would bubble wouldn't it but if you put your um heat gun too close to the texture paste it bubbles so and i think that looks amazing i love it fantastic so big thumbs up for um the texture paste on some botanical washi tape Yes, love that. Let's pop that in the windowsill to continue hardening off. Okay, so what should we try next then? Shall we try, ooh, let's, um, uh, okay, I think if we're gonna use a bit of lace, oh, I'm gonna be brave, I'm gonna try this. If we're gonna use a bit of lace, we're gonna do it on this bit of paper now. 
I think we need to use contrasting colours. So we either need to use a bit of dark um, fabric behind. Perhaps that might be better, actually, on a smaller piece. Um, let's try it on that, actually. Rather than that one, because that's a big piece if I go in a mess, isn't it? Um, and we want to put it, I think we're going to put it here. Actually, we could go with yellow because it's got yellows and the browns there, haven't we? So, what we could do is fit a little bit of uh, lace to the edge of this page, like so. Actually, I'm going to do it that way because I quite prefer that edge poking out there. So, if we fix that down there, have I got that the right way around? Yeah. And then, um, come on, where's the glue? Let's just do that straight away. I'm not even sure that's these bottles. I've got to be honest, I'm wondering if it's where I store the glue. Because it is in front of the window now, and this window's a bit drafty. It's a shame to say, but it really is. So... I need to put it somewhere warm. And it's not in use. Oop. Catch me wristband on there. I nearly caught it in the sewing machine this morning. <laughs> that would have been tricky. Right. So what did I say? I'm going to hang that bit over the edge like that, haven't we? Just slide that up and into place. Right. So that's now secured in there. Just make sure it's evenly poking out. I'm just gonna trim the edge off. Okay, let's keep that bit there. Now let's tape our page down so it's not moving around all over the place. And I'm gonna just put one extra bit over here so this flap doesn't keep flipping up in my way. Okay, now I wouldn't have just put that on there by itself because I just, it's not really, you know, but I think with perhaps the addition of some rather lovely texture paste, it might, 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 might just offset it quite nicely. Now tell you what I am wondering is if it would be easy to do this if I cut these into stencils. Cut them down, but then I don't know, because I don't know if there would be enough left. So I thought I'd just cut this page in half. I just don't want to get that wet there like, on um, the page. So I'm just going to cut that stencil down. Should be alright, shouldn't I? There we go. I do apologise for my sniffing. I've got an allergy nose this morning. It's a bit runny. Good old hay fever's in full swing now. There we go. Right, so let's just oop, reach for the awkward there. What are you doing? <laughs> you know when you just can't get the right angle on something? There we go. Right. I don't know what happened there. That one obviously didn't come out at the time. Mm. Yeah. Okay. And, um, my way. No, that's not going to do it. I want to keep it from rising. Let's put it in. There. That's better. Right. I don't know how this is going to um, fix itself. To I'll just bring you guys down a bit. So we've got a bit of glare at this uh, in front of the window now, which is great for me because I can see. But it does throw a bit of shine. Right. So we've got our texture paste. Oh, we're not going to use this. No, we're going to use the yellow. Right. Oh, good job I stopped then. So, let's just give that a bit of a mix. Uh, this is when I could have done with a second stick. Short. Oh, I can always wash it, can't I? Right. Let's just give that a bit of a mix in again. It's kind of separated a bit at the top. Oh, it's a nice consistency to this one. Because this has been in you for quite a while. You would have expected by now it to have either gone off or... But it's not, it's just... It's quite nice. Okay. 
Okay, so we don't need a lot because this is a tiny, tiny, tiny little stencil that we're working with here. I'm going to go so I'm afraid if I don't put it on flat, I'm just going to end up smearing. So let's just go for it, shall we? I'm mean, doing it on an actual page, but hopefully. Ooh, ooh, now look at that. That's interesting, isn't it? Why am I thought of doing this before? I don't know. Right, I'm gonna give it a quick blast before I move it. Sorry about the noise. Now, all of a sudden, uh, brown lace doesn't look so unappealing, does it? I think that looks rather interesting, actually. Rather interesting indeed. Oh, missed a bit there, but never mind. Yeah, I like that. I like that very much. Yes, excellent. Okay, number two, success. Right, next job. What are we going to try next? What else did we say that we were going to put on here? So, um, hmm, right, okay. Well, maybe we'll try, perhaps we'll try a whole page one minute now then. And we'll do it in yellow. And then perhaps we'll finish off with a bit of white. Just to kind of give a little bit of a... Ooh, I know what we could do actually. We could do some foliage in green. In green. Where do I get green from? No, white I was thinking. So that, and then we'll do like a flower one in the middle. So we're trying to do a bit of a, of a, a design on here. And I'm going to have to use my, my blue dabber now, aren't I? Because I've got my thing in yellow. I don't know if this is going to work. I hope it does. Hmm, not quite sure. Well, it's going to go one way or the other. Let's just give it a quick try. I haven't quite got the angle, you see, this uh, glue stick that the other thing has. It's kind of almost taking it back off, but we'll bear with. Uh, I think this one's going to be a bit of a mess. Yeah. Blue dabber, not so good for applying texture paste. But we'll see. Oh, well, it's not awful. I've seen worse. Gosh, that paper's all got heavy with that on there. I've seen worse, but okay. Right, let's try a bigger one then. Um, what else have we got here? Um, do, 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 do. That one there, I think, would be quite nice. And there, maybe. Um, right, let me just dry that a sec, because I don't want to make it loose. Now, of course, if you make a mess of, um, you know, one of these, you can always just put a bigger one over it and let it encompass what you've just done, if that makes sense. So, you know, all is not lost. Um, but I'm just thinking, I tell you what, I think we'll do another little bit of washi on here just to kind of jazz this page up a bit. So let's try this one here because this is lovely. This is really botanical. And then um, maybe we'll try some of those little flowery ones, actually. I don't know if they're different, aren't they? So let's just pop that down the edge of the page, eh? Oh, you just like it. Just short of the Again. There we go. And we'll just take that off the bottom. Well, that's rather nice. Okay, so we've got that there now. I'm just wondering if maybe actually I might. No, let's stick with the plan. Let's just try a few of these, I think, in different spots. Um, let's try these ones. Maybe we could go with a yellow. 
Perhaps we'll kind of like edge them down. So perhaps we'll do this with them. And then it'll leave space in if whoever has the journal would like to write then. Right, let's try it. Let's try it. So what's going to happen is it's not going to go well and then we just have to put something over the top of it on the page, don't we? I mean, come on. That's what we do, isn't it? So, come on. It's going to be fine. Be brave. Be brave. Right. A bit of the yellow again, I think, on this one. Just kind of bring a bit of colour to everything. Plus, this is a better spreader than the other one. And I think the trick is to go big and then spread. They say go big or go home. There we are. Right. Okay. Let's peel it off. Ooh. That looks okay. Yep. Oh. A bit of mess here from my fingers, but that's all right. Okay, I'm just going to blast that a second. Blowing out of myself in a minute, I'm so cold. I'm not cold, my nails have gone a funny colour look. Right, what else can we pop on here now? Should we try one of these? We should have started with one of these big ones, really, shouldn't I? Um, now let's continue with the same style I think that we're currently working with. So let's go for one here now. Um, there's those bits of washi. Let's get that secured down very well now, as well as we can. of the white one. So we know it's coloured after, can't we? Oh, I'm vexed I've lost my other spreaders. Right, start at the top and then let's just go all the way. Just hope that it works out as it should. Okay. Oh, I can see already I've scraped half of that off of thinking. Yeah, it's not the best tool to use, that's not. Let's see what's done underneath. Oh, it's dirty now, it's shot. Oh no, it's alright, oh, that's a better one. That one's quite raised. There we are, getting better. I don't know if I've obviously gotten too close to my texture paste at some point. Right, so that's our little flowers on the inside of that page there. They need to dry off a little bit more yeah, before I can do anything with them. That one's dried nicely though. I may find I end up going over that one again, I think, because I'm not 100% happy with that one. Um, and there's some carders. No, it's, yeah. There's anything, see, once you've used these once or twice, they tend to be a bit useless then afterwards. But we'll see. I'm going to let that dry and I think we'll come back to that one. Because it's nice as it is having those extra bits on. I feel I need to add more to that, but I'm not quite sure what I'm going to put on yet. Let me put some lace or something down the inside here. I may add something along the bottom. We may just continue and perhaps do a few more flowers so the whole thing is a little floral thing. But I need that to dry right and lean out and further. So that's fine. Let's leave that for a second. Let's try something a bit different with this one here now. Right? Um, so, let's try, um, now of course we don't have a big flower one, so I'm looking at my die cut sheet for a minute and see what I've got. But of course I don't have the bit that goes in the middle, so I wonder, I wonder if I might take that out of there, I don't know. I don't know. It's a very good question. Hmm. I wonder if we could go with just the shape of a flower. Oop. And then maybe, just maybe, we could fill around. I think this is going to be... Um, mm. Right, let's try some lace on this one. Just going to make me witter water into myself. I think we're going to make this look like a bit of a cluster this time. So, if we take a large piece of lace, like this, 
Or maybe like this. I love this lace because it's really, really old and it's really crinkled and creased. I'm not going to uncrease it. I think it's amazing. I'm just going to quickly stitch that so it stays where it needs to be. And it looks a bit messy. Straight back. Okay, so I've now stitched that on there. So it looks a bit like a little pocket, but it's not going to be a pocket. It's going to make a little cluster. I'm going to try and do a lace and texture paste cluster. But this time, I'm going to do it with a little flower. Um, perhaps that one, I think. That fits in there quite nice, doesn't it? Um, where's the other bits of washi? Oh, there they are. Stuck on the other one. It's okay. Let's just as best we can. Cover that piece there as well. Always will end up on my lace. And cover that bit there. Um, and then perhaps tie that bit down there. Okay. Okay. I'm going to go for a yellow flower. Oh! Rude. Right, okay. I'm gonna stir it. I don't work with this very often, so those of you that probably do all the time can probably tell. So I do apologize if I'm doing any of this differently to the way others are doing it, but I don't think it matters because I get the results that I need, so that's the main thing. Right, nice and thick now. Now, because the lace is moving around underneath, I've just realised what I've done. I've been really, either really stupid or really brave now doing this. I'm doing this on an actual piece of super vintage ledger paper, which is one of my book pages, journal pages. So if it all goes wrong, I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, yeah, no, because the lace is moving around underneath, it is actually quite tricky. Whereas normally you would just slide it across a piece of paper. I don't have that stability. I don't know if the stencil's doing its job proper. There we go. So there's only one way to find out. And that's to get it off. Right. Okay. Here we go. Zoom into truth. Oh, okay. A little bit of mess, but it's not too bad. Oh, it's quite, um, I quite like that there. Actually, I'm going to leave that. Now I'm going to try, try and sprinkle some of this glittery stuff in there and see if this works. Um, but what am I going to do it with? Because I've used, oh I know I'm going to use, but it was, I don't laugh now. I'm going to get this out. I'm going to use an eyeshadow brush because I haven't got any of those things left, I don't know where I've put them, and I don't want to go just dumping it all on top, I might be able to grab some of it on this, and um, basically drop it where I want it to go, if that makes sense, oh, oh and it's working too, it's either going to look really naff, or it's going to look really cool, We won't know if we don't try, will we? Hmm. So you can see that where it bled slightly here, um, because obviously the lace was moving around, but I really don't think that's going to be a problem. Let's just pop that bit down there. Let's get our um, our heat gun. Let's see if it worked. Oh, I knew this. There we go. So <laughs> it actually did work, but it wasn't quite. I wasn't quite sure how it was going to go. This is not gold um, uh, embossing glitter. This is actually like a sandy colour. Um, 
it's not something I normally would have bought. I actually bought this in an, a stationery sale a long time before I actually realised what it was. I just thought it was normal like glitter stuff and then I discovered embossing glitter then. But um, apart from the bit here where it leaked because my stencil wasn't very solid, I think that's really good. And it has done exactly what the embossing powder should do and that's where it's, you know, it started to kind of um, solidify as a solid and raise slightly. So... At least it now offsets against the yellow. I quite like that. I don't know how well you can see. But it, it's really quite shimmery and glittery. Can you see that? Shine in there. I'm very pleased with that. Gosh, it's heavy. Ooh. But it's something a little bit different, isn't it? There we go. I think that looks quite cool. I may have to do a little bit of something with that there, but I think it'll be all right. Like I say, I can't have everything perfect, can we? But that's just quite a different type of cluster there. So that one there worked great. Okay, so what should we do with the next piece? Right, again now this is another vintage page. Um, what was the other bit that I... Oh, I tell you what we could do actually. We could incorporate um, a little bit of the kit maybe with it. And then over that then we could take some... Um, do some embossing. So I'm just going to very, very quickly um, ink around this a second. I'm just literally working with the scraps around my desk now because I um, obviously want to use up all of the bits and pieces I've started to use with this kit. I'm trying to get into habit now of not having things left over before I move on to another project. So really keen to kind of be able to utilise all this stuff now. Right, I'm going to just go and quickly stitch around here because I don't really want to stitch onto the page. Two sec. Okay, so for this one, I'm going to try something a little bit different. Um, go into the colours of the page that we're working on and the little thing. I've got a little bit of this glue. Oh, it's not glue. At all, it's paint. I can't open it. Well, give me a cloth. Ah, there we go. Right. So this is pale olive. My dad very kindly let me have a little, um, what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> Pinch? <laughs> no, a rummage, that's the word I'm looking for. Let me have a rummage the other day in his um, acrylic paint drawer, because my dad is a big fan of acrylic. Um, and I found this lovely colour I thought, ooh, that goes really well with the kit that I'm currently working with. So I'm just going to mix a little bit of that in with my white pre-mixed texture paste. But as I say, if you go with white, you're never going to have a problem then because you can just mix any colour with it. Probably didn't need that much paint in there actually, but I couldn't make the glove any smaller. So there we go. Lovely jubbly. Let's just wipe that off there. There we are. Right, so that's done ready. Now I'm going to take, let's, let's just secure this into place, I think. Um, and I think we'll do some uhu, just so that we don't have it all wet. Oops. There we go. Let's just stick that onto the page. And oh, I tell you what we could do actually before we put our texture paste on. Let's just glue this on. We could actually put a nice botanical stamp on it. Oops, sorry, this is just me moving my my own trolley out of the way because I know the stamps are on the floor. So let's have a little look what we've got here. Um, and I could. I suppose put a bit of text across there, so let's keep that in. And then, what else do we have here? Um, I'll put that one in. And that one in. Um, I'm just wondering if we go with a kind of leafy print. Yeah, I think that'd be quite nice actually, but there's a leafy, leafy print behind. And maybe a little bit of text. So, let me just grab some ink. I think we'll use, I think we'll use the stays on ink for this because obviously putting wet texture piece on the top, there's a risk it will um, move and run. 
Okay. Oh, it's great having these drawers, I tell you. It's great. Right, put that back on there. Sorry, so much noise, so much disruption going on here. Okay, right, let's we're doing a bit of tidiness here so we can see what we're doing. Um, let's have a look, size of the page, size of the stamp. Do I go for that maybe? Yeah, that might be quite nice. And then I can put my other leaf then over the top. But yeah, let's go for that. Okay, so let's put that for a second. Pop it on there. Sometimes I'm always worrying about it all going wrong, but you know, what's the worst that's gonna happen? I'm just gotta do something else. There we go. Ooh, right, there we go. Very nice. Gosh, I stamped by that well, then there was nothing left on the stamp. Brilliant. Okay, so let's put that back on there a minute, and then I'm just, just wondering if I might just put a little bit of the edge of the text across there just to kind of add a little bit of interest on top of those already interesting numbers i know <laughs> there we go now oh, i could have done with the black ridge but never mind that's fine okay all right we're not going to panic about a bit of a black ridge i hadn't noticed that long there but there we are all right okay okay moving on moving on um okay let's just put the stamps out of the way a minute because they're actually mums and should Found me if I get a texture paste on them. I know it's okay, they'll be hanging out the way. How did I get that on my hand then? Gordon, Ben, I've only got to touch something and I'm covered in it. Right, okay. Let's have. Oh, that's why. Let's have our stamp. Mm, room with scissors. Gordon, Ben, I tell you what, mind you, don't half get in a mess doing mixed media, don't we? Well, I do anyway. It's like everything's out. And I can't find anything. Okay. So I'm thinking I may put it. Hey, if I find a little full then, maybe I'll be better off doing that. No, no, I'm going to go with that one. And I'm going to go by there, I think. So it's slightly over, goes over the other edges. Does that make sense? Well, then I might to. Uh, Look, have it look like it's coming out of the pot, look, can not I? That would be better. Yeah, does that look like it's coming out of the pot? Because the uh, watering can has already got flowers coming out of it. So if we... <coughs> Excuse me. If we put it in that direction. That should work out quite alright, I think. Okay, let's see. So it's ever so hard trying to do stuff when my blinking phone's right in the middle of the way. Sorry guys, I know you need to see in all that. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Whew, big breath now, big breath. Oh, right, that's the first fluff up. caught under that stem then so I'm expecting this section here to be a bit of a mess now but we will see we will see should we be brave now and tear it off right let's take off the washi gently you ready for this Okay, doesn't look too bad, doesn't look too bad. Okie doke, that's quite nice actually, I like that. I know there's a bit of a, you know, smudging behind, but actually, because we put a good thick amount on, let's just dry it a sec. Okay, now, I've got to be honest with you, 
I'm really not happy about this black line here. So I think I'm going to put a little cluster or something down the bottom here. Because I just don't like that black line. It's too heavy. Oh, I've got a bit of lace there. That could work. I put a little word on there, haven't I? Hmm. What have we got? Grill. Oh, that's too small. That looks ridiculous. Um... that was drying then I was looking and I was just thinking yeah not happy about that black line not at all okay okay all right I think we'll finish this one off and I think that will have to be it then so otherwise this is going to be a very long video which we don't want right I'm just going to stitch be back there we go let's just get a bit of glue on that and then I think, oh, what from the pen and come on. This glue just does not want to play ball with me today, do that. Nope, it's not happy at all. It's not happy unless it's playing me up more like. There we go, there we are. So that's all stitched now. Just pop my glue on. And we'll just glue that now into position. Yeah, that's better. Much better. Yeah, I didn't like that heavy black line. That was bothering me some. I'm going to just leave that trail for now. Just glue that down properly. I can't get any glue out. Because it's rising and it's annoying me a bit. Oh, I'm so disappointed my glue is playing up. Because I was really like looking forward to these little glue things coming. But it's just been a nightmare. I can only assume it's because it's by the window. I have to move my glue pot, I think. Which is a shame because I've got a lovely box now that I keep all my stuff in. Um, which I actually bought from the man with the Tesla. Did I tell you that story? I'm sure I did. He sold me the stationary box holder from Ikea. And... Yeah, there we go. I actually really, really like that. I think that is super, super cute. I know we've got a, a bit of bleeding under there, but that's all right. It's not the end of the world. I'm sure if I actually had the time and the patience, I took a craft knife, I could probably carefully remove some of it. Like I say, if I had the time and the patience. Because that's the one thing with texture paste, is it is obviously a... Another surface, but you just have to be really careful you don't go sticking your knife through the paper. But I could potentially scratch that off, I suppose. Yeah, there we go. Should I feel like I want to anyway, but I'm not overly worried. I've got to be honest, I think I'd rather leave it there than risk ruining the um, page underneath. That makes sense. Yeah, it would scratch away if you needed it to, but like I say, I'm not all that bothered. Um, the main thing is you can see the uh, design, can't you? Nice and clearly. I think that looks great. I think the colour was bang on with the kit. There we go. That's fine. Right, where's my lid? Okay, there. Put that away. I'm afraid I'm going to end up injuring myself with that. Okay, so quick, quick, quick quick recap so we had this lovely little one at the beginning didn't we which we did on the washi tape so washi tape and texture paste absolutely definitely yes yes then we did the um the texture paste onto the lace which i very much liked and i liked the uh, the color you know and it just made it really pop um, then we had a go with uh, some of the smaller ones. They weren't a great success, and I'm probably going to have to do something a bit different on there now because um, I wasn't overly pleased with how they turned out. But these little ones here was okay. I think the yellow stuff spreads better than the white does, actually. But that may have been the tool I was using, so that could have been my bad. But I'll, I'll fix that, so don't worry. Don't lose that page. And then this one here on top of the other lace, and we mixed in some texture glitter with it. 
and I actually really, really like that. So I think if you're looking for some alternative things to do um, on your pages and you have some texture piece lying around, go for it. Try it with different media, try it on different things um and just see what you come up with okay i'm gonna leave it that for today guys i hope you enjoyed the video please if you did leave a comment and a like and if you haven't yet subscribed and you'd like to see more videos don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell and i will be back with you all very soon take care now bye